Today we'd like to talk about how to adjust a three-way valve and a two-way valve when replacing the actuator and making sure that it's in the right position. When replacing the actuator, the first thing we want to do is, is when we wire up the new actuator, before we tighten it down on the shaft of the, of the valve, we want to drive it one way or another, so full open or full closed. On a two-way valve, um, this position here is full open. It's going in the same direction as the, the valve is. So if you have it full open, what you want to do is make sure that the knob is turned in that position and then you would tighten the actuator down. If you drive the valve, the actuator to the closed position, then what you do want to do is you want to turn the valve stem to the closed position and then what you would do is tighten down the actuator onto the valve stem and therefore it'll be ready to go. Then you put it back in automatic and then the valve will start controlling according to what signal it has going to it either op open or closed or somewhere in between. Now I'd like to talk about a three-way valve. The three-way valve is basically done the very, very same way. Is you want to, again, you want to drive the actuator into one position, either open or closed. And on this particular three-way valve, it's the same way as the two-way. That when the stem is going the same direction as the valve, then that is open. And then when you turn it 90 degrees to there, that is, that is the closed position. So depending on where you, you drive the valve actuator to, is then you want to position the valve stem into that position, open or closed, and then you tighten it down. Now the, the, on this particular actuator, this is where you would loosen it and tighten it. And on this one, it's on, it's on these two right here. That's where how you would loosen it or tighten it. After you have it tightened down, then you would put the control system back into auto. And the valve then will open or close or somewhere in between depending on the control signal. That is how we calibrate both a two-way valve and a three-way valve.